everybody. This is a quick demonstration on how we set up our first builder trans schedule and learn the basics of just how to navigate through some of the complexity of builder trend to build, you know, our first Gantt schedule. So when you log into builder trend for the first time, you'll come up with a fairly, you know, visually confusing dialogue. This is your complete project summary. And once we have our full builder trend project filled out, this will make a lot more sense. But for now, all we need is a scheduling piece. So when you first log in, on the left-hand side, you will choose your project title, and you probably only have one. So click on that project title. For me, it's Connor's example, and it loads up all my information, but because I haven't filled things out, it's not very helpful. But what I first wanna do is I wanna go up to my home button. This is my the house at the top, and go to job information. And the first thing in a schedule we wanna do is tell the schedule what days of the week we work on this project. So when we build our schedule, it knows which days to start using as work days. So, you know, I can change my, you know, my job name to whatever I want. So it's Connor's example. And down here under job schedule information, I can give it a projected start date. So because today is Saturday, I'm gonna choose not to start today. And I wanna start this job actually on Tuesday. So I'm going to choose the 29th and under job work days, if I only work Monday to Friday, I'm going to choose Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If my crew in my company, we also work Saturdays, I can click Saturday. So if I'm scheduling an activity on a Friday that takes two days, Builder Trend is going to schedule that over Friday and Saturday because my company doesn't work weekends. I leave Saturday, Sunday unchecked. And if I have a Friday activity that takes two days, it's going to schedule out over Friday and Monday. So that's all I need right now. So projected start is the 29th. And for now, we could say the actual start is the 29th. All this could be uh, adjusted later. And I'm going to click save and close. Now I can go to my schedule. So under project management at the top, click on schedule. And it's going to bring up a blank schedule here, often in calendar view. So because this is harder to work with, I'm going to go to Gantt view because I find it's the easiest to visualize. And again, we have an empty schedule. The first thing to do is click at the top left, the green button, which is new, and you're going to go to schedule item. So here we have a dialog box that's asking us for our first schedule item. And for me, I'm giving an example of a little kitchen renovation. That's going to be my letter to neighbors. Whoops. Let's go letter to na letter to neighbors. And it's gonna be start as one day. I'm gonna choose this, this is my site setup phase, and I want this all to be visually easy to identify. So I'm gonna choose the same color for each phase. So I'm starting my site setup with mint. That's just how I go. So go with mint. Don't worry about any of the stuff at the bottom, predecessor information. That's about relationships. We'll do that in another tutorial. So right now I have a letter to neighbors. It's one day and my job color is mint and I click save. Oh, let's check a start date. So all right, we set our job started on the 29th. We'll choose the 29th. Click save and click close. So now I have one activity here, one item. So letter to neighbors starts on the 29th. It's one day and it's mint. Okay. Now a faster way to maybe populate your schedule is to pull up the scope of work you have. And then we can simply go to new again, schedule item. And I can not type all my responses because I've already done this. And I can go to confirm DSS testing. Just remove, remove my bullet. Again, go down and choose mint. I'm going to say that's happening on the same day as my letter to neighbors. So the 29th and it's one day and I click save and I close. So now I have two, two activities. Now, because site protection has three elements, I can go to new, I go to schedule item, and maybe I wanna make all of these uh, peach as a color for my site protection phase. So I can go to protect flooring. Now, in your schedules, you wanna account right now for every activity but you don't need to use the full sentence descriptions you might have in your scope of work. You want to simplify 
so the titles in your schedule are a lot more succinct and easy to read. So you'll have a work plan later that'll break down, you know, protect flooring at entranceway, but your schedule would only need to say protect flooring. So it's going to start the day after our uh, site setup. So it's the 30th. It's one day. And rather than clicking save and close, I go save and new. And now it opens another dialogue and I can just say dust protection. Again, my work plan will break down what that is and where it goes. But I put in dust protection, move the bullet, and it's the same day that I'm doing the rest of my site protection, my protect flooring. And I click save and new. Then I have my negative air machine. And I might not need to copy and paste, set up negative air machine at rear window. I'm just gonna put in negative air machine because my work plan will break down what that means and where I want that to be. I think we're doing peach here. And that, maybe that's on the first, it's the next day. So I can choose the first, it's still one day, click save and click close. So now I have site set up in green, I have site protection in peach, I'm working to do most of my setup on the Tuesday, I'm starting to do some protection on the Wednesday and my negative air machine shows up on the Thursday. Now when I get to deconstruction, it's very similar. I go to new schedule item, I can first pick a color, so I want that to be violet. And I'm gonna to go to shut off, and again, I can copy paste right from this list. And that's gonna be the day after I do my site protection. That's gonna be the second. So I have my title, I have my color, I have my work day, and I click save and new. Again, go down to my color, I can set that as violet. Go down to remove appliances, and I don't need the whole line because I'll have that in my work plan. So I remove appliances, and that is happening on the same day. That's gonna be on the second, and is also one day. So save and new. Okay, now I get into some of my uh, removal activities. So I have kitchen sink and faucet. I can remove the bullet. Change that to violet. And let's show an example. Let's say this for some reason takes us two days to do. If I change my work days to two days and I still start this on the this Friday the second and I click save and close it to show you what it looks like, you'll notice that our remove appliances that was first is one day, it's the Friday. Our shut off water gas was the Friday as well, it's one day. And because we said kitchen sink and faucet was going to be two days, it's stretching over the weekend because it's not counting the weekend as work days. So if you select more than one day and it spans a weekend, don't be surprised or confused if it shows you looking like it's four days. It's not counting four days because you selected Saturday, Sunday as non-work days. But that's how it's going to visualize it. The other thing this is doing for us right now is within activities, Starting on the same day, like kitchen sink and faucet removal, removal of appliances, and shut off water, gas, and power, because they all start on that same Friday, it's not putting them in the order that we added them, right? In the order we want them to happen. Builder Trend is simply scheduling these three activities based on alphabetical order. So K, R, S. For right now, for this tutorial, this is where we're going to leave these kind of activities. We're gonna keep going through the rest of our scope of work, copy them over to our calendar, put them in order for start dates, add approximate durations so they're correct, and get our little waterfall of activities looking roughly close to what we're gonna build. In our next tutorial, we're gonna add relationships. And those are the arrows that sort of connect these different activities. And that's where we're able to actually reorder activities that start on the same day. So the activity connections will show us that actually shut off water, gas, and power is first. That's gonna follow negative air machine. Next, we remove appliances. Next, we remove kitchen sink and faucet. But until we add those, Builder Trend is going to schedule them uh, in terms of alphabetical order on the day that they start. So for right now, this is where you will sort of leave your list. You'll keep going with your activities, put them all in here, but don't worry about the fact that they're out of order if they start on the same day, because Builder trying to schedule them based on alphabetical order. So our next tutorial will fix all of that. Once you're done, 
your list, you simply go to PDF at the top, click PDF, and it's going to allow you to export this calendar. So that I would simply go into whatever software this loads in, um, export as a PDF. On a Mac, you can uh, go to print, save as a PDF, and that's what you want to use for your submission. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in class.